My name is Dylan Osborne. My name is Ashley Gibbons. And we race the number 64 Speedway sidecar. into sidecar racing kind of by default. Uh, basically an unsuccessful speedway rider and went to auto racing and kind of ran out of money a few times and met up with Joe Jones and we put together a sidecar and uh, it's all history from there. I started racing speedway sidecars. I actually met um, Brian Quickimotis at Supercross in I want to say it was 2015. Somehow got on the subject of racing speedway and he asked if I wanted to try it and I said, yep. They hooked me up with Dylan and I've just been stuck ever since. Uh, this year, you know, we've uh, had quite a few wins compared to normal. The uh, two top guys, Joe and Quickie, are super hard to beat. So any night uh, we beat them is a great night or a memorable, memorable night. A lot of the short track stuff is where we seem to excel. We've done really good here this year racing at Costa Mesa and Industry, which is big for me because I grew up coming to Costa Mesa and watched a lot of the old time speedway people and all the sidecar people and now we're here and winning every once in a while so it's it's cool. I am only four foot eleven and proud. Um, it's been this way my whole life. It's kind of not really different. I feel like my size actually is a huge advantage because yes I might not have as far of a reach as some of the guys but I'm small I'm more compact it's easier for for me to maneuver myself than it were to be if I was feeling tight, so. I'm 6'2", and uh, usually in most cases, racing motorcycles, that's an issue. Um, on the sidecar, you can get pretty stretched out and work, and with her being so short, the way she tucks in close and is next to me, it's, it's a lot different than having two guys on there. I've had guys hop on before with me, and I hate to say it, but females listen, you know? You tell them, hey, if you could tuck in a little closer to me and do this, do that, go out the next round and she's doing exactly what I need her to be. There's no attitude, there's no pride on the line, there's no nothing and you know it kind of makes you guys as one. It's hard to ride a motorcycle with two people on it um, so when you can work together and click and make the traction hit the ground I mean it's like magic. It's good. What motivates me to come out to the track every race is the adrenaline rush really. It just keeps me sane. It's just a good time. Get to hang out with good people, meet good people. It's just for fun. Uh, what motivates me and makes me show up out here, um, you know, a lot of guys complain about the money. I don't do this for the money and I, I never would. I'm, racing is everything to me, whether it's a, a speedway sidecar, a race car, a shopping cart in the grocery store parking lot. I mean, if I see you next to me and we're going, I mean, we're racing. That's just what it is, you know, it's, it's just life. So, I mean, you're just always chasing that feeling, chasing that feeling of victory. You know, when you're a, when you're a nobody, really essentially at that point, you know, we're out here racing. We're all people that have jobs, stuff like that. You grow up your whole life looking at the big guys racing, having a good time, doing good stuff, and that's just what you're chasing, you know. It lets you be someone else throughout the throughout the week and lets you forget about your job, all that other good stuff. And people at work, you know, they kind of know what I do. Uh, I don't think they really grasp what it is until one or two of them show up out here and check it out and then they immediately think we're nuts or they don't understand why we do it. It's more important to me to have people in the stands and keep having something like Costa Mesa Speedway going. People at work know what I do. I work in an office, so I mean, I have my own little cute cubicle. And of course, I have to display the trophies that we get, and there's pictures, and, and then they come, and they're like, oh my gosh, it looks fun, can I try? As far as our sponsors, you know, we have uh, a couple good ones. The main one would be Sierra Ridge Construction Company, and it's uh, just some people that we know through some family friends, and they've heard and seen how much effort we put in and how hard we're trying, and that two years before, we're racing on used tires or making them run two or three races. They've stepped up to the plate, helped us out, made sure that we're on a fresh tire here every night with the best equipment we can have. Makes you not worry about fuel money going up north, anything like that. So it helps out big time. Um, it's, it's definitely a game changer and we appreciate everything Sierra Ridge Construction Company's done.